So in this quick video, we're just gonna do two things. First off, I'm gonna show you how to construct a histogram associated with your observed values of independent variables uh, relative to uh, the estimated value of beta. And then second, I'm gonna show you how to construct a histogram uh, associated with your uh, residuals from your estimated regression uh, equation. Okay, uh, both of these, uh, as you probably know if you're watching this video, right, are sort of first line tests to determine the quality uh, of, of your estimated values of beta as well as to determine the sort of quality of your uh, regression equation and to potentially identify serious problems in either of those. At the end of this, I'll come back with a bit of a summary statement uh, and we'll, we'll see you there. Okay, thanks everybody, hope this helps. Okay, hey, so at the end here, quick concluding note on all this, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, this is, again, this is not as conclusive test as to the quality uh, of either our estimated regression equation or of the quality of our individual independent variables. It is, however, a sort of, you know, first level test. And what we're looking for in, in these is we're, we're looking for a, a, a sort of normal distribution, right? Uh, we would expect the observed values of our independent variables relative to the estimated beta value of those variables uh, to, to exhibit sort of a normal distribution around that estimated beta, right? And so if we're noticing like bimodal distribution, you know, like two humps, right? <laughs> or if we're noticing like, you know, kind of weird tails or anything like that, uh, we, we want to reevaluate our data and uh, at, at a very minimum, right, we want to sort of take our estimated value of beta uh, with some with a bit of a grain of salt. On the residuals, similar, uh, we're looking for sort of normal distributions, uh, uh, distribution of the the residuals. Uh, and if if we're noticing uh, now, it, it, when I did that a few seconds ago, you notice there was a number of other tests that I didn't run. We'll, we'll we'll get to this in a later section, right? Okay, so right now we're sort of just looking for that normal distribution, uh, and if we don't have that, uh, we you know we know we've we've got a pretty serious problem with our uh, estimated regression equation uh, right off the bat. All right, so that's why we do this. <laughs> I hope you found this useful, uh, uh, and I'll see you again next time.